Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. Even though science has pushed our understanding of the living world to new heights, there are still some things that just plain baffle us. It seems that the more we uncover about life on this planet, the deeper the mysteries grow. Number 10. Saturn's Hexagon Windy weather can be the stuff of nightmares. Just ask any fan of the Sharknado movies. And Earth isn't the only planet with tornadoes and hurricanes. Jupiter's Great Red Spot, for example, is a massive storm that's been churning for more than a century. And Saturn has a weird hexagon-shaped hurricane at its North Pole. That's right, a storm with six equal sides. And new data shows that this is a bigger storm than we thought, towering hundreds of miles in height. Scientists first uncovered Saturn's hexagon in 1988 after reviewing old data from two spacecraft called Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 that did quick flybys of the planet in 1980 and 1981. Sending spacecraft to Saturn is a long and expensive process, so it wasn't until the Cassini mission arrived there in 2004 that we could confirm the hexagon really exists. And wow, did we learn a lot about it. Cassini stuck around at Saturn for 13 years and flew over the storm several times. The hexagon is truly bizarre and huge to boot. The structure, which includes a storm at the center, is roughly 20,000 miles, 32,000 kilometers wide. So big that you could plop down two Earth-sized planets inside and still have plenty of width to spare. But for all our studies, we still don't know some of the basics, such as why this storm has straight sides to it. While on Earth, our storms are more circular. Unfortunately, we have no spacecraft at Saturn anymore. Number 9. Mysterious Zigzag Lines A few years ago, cartographers and readers of Gizmodo, searching through Google Earth, began noticing large grids of zigzagging lines appearing in the Gobi Desert. In Dunhuang, Zhu Quan, Gansu, and north of the Shul River, you can see what look like artwork or QR codes. The lines are 65 to 90 feet wide and appear to be painted, not filled with white sand. The rhomboid grids are about one mile and a half across and three quarters of a mile wide. Experts say they might be calibration areas for spy satellites. I'm not certain why a spy satellite could not just calibrate its recording and observation platforms against an island of the Great Wall of China. The cool thing about this phenomenon is that you don't have to have a spy satellite to see it or listen to a midnight talk discussing conspiracies. In fact, all you have to have is Google Earth. Number 8. Giant Wheels in the Middle East Imagine you're an airplane pilot flying over Jordan in the 1920s. Stretching from Syria to Saudi Arabia, thousands of ancient geoglyphs built from stone stretch across the desert plains. Known as the works of old men, some display a kite-like structure, while others have wheel-like designs. The works themselves have been compared to Peru's Nazca lines. They're built at the same massive scale, and the shapes they form can only be seen from the air. But unlike the Nazca lines, these structures don't seem to represent any specific figures or animals. A stunning sight from the air, these ancient artworks raise many questions. What do they represent? When were they built? Who built them? What purpose do they serve? Ancient charcoal found in some of the works has been dated to 9,000 years ago. For comparison, the oldest Nazca lines were built around 200 BCE. They simultaneously provide a great insight into ancient civilizations while pointing out just how little we know about these cultures. Over time, we may learn more about these structures and what they represent about the past but it is likely that many secrets related to the geoglyphs may have died with those who constructed them. Number 7. Pentagram of Kazakhstan The image of the 1,200-foot symbol is clearly seen on Google Earth, but has baffled scientists as to what could have made it. Conspiracy theorists have unsurprisingly decided that the symbol is connected to devil worship, paganism, or religious sects. Situated on the southern shore of the Upper Tobol Reservoir, the nearest city, Lysakovsk is 12 miles away. The pentagram is an ancient symbol used by many cultures and religious groups, including Christians, Freemasons, followers of the Chinese religion of Taoism, and ancient Mesopotamians. One internet user, Kurt Yates from Seattle, Washington, claimed that the symbol was probably an abandoned surface-to-air missile site. However, 
Emma Usmanova, an archaeologist who has studied the ruins in the Lysakovsk region, believes she has cracked the puzzle. This particular star is a Soviet-era lakeside park marked by roadways that are now lined with trees, which make the star shape even more distinct in aerial photos. Number 6. Chinese Pyramid It's 1945, and U.S. Air Force pilot James Gossman is just trying to focus. He's flying a leg of his journey between India and China when suddenly a glimmer catches his eye. Emerging from the plains of China's heartland, he spots it, a tremendous pyramid that would put Giza's to shame. Today, there are nearly 100 known pyramids, but not all are easily distinguishable to the human eye. They're covered with trees and grass, and many date back 8,000 years. Number 5. Eye of Sahara With satellites, high-resolution photography, and the ability to photograph long distance into space, we are discovering more and more inexplicable and curious things. In Mauritania, Hidden deep into the Great Sahara Desert, there is a huge and mysterious geologic formation that is hard to spot from ground level, walking around on Earth. It turns out that we really discovered this incredible bullseye in the sand only when we began sending humans into space, when the Gemini 4 mission, 1965, a four-day orbit around Earth, the astronauts were asked to take photos of Earth's terrain. The Eye of the World, or Eye of Sahara, more formally known as the Rechot structure, is a deeply eroded, slightly elliptical dome with a diameter of 40 kilometers. And for a while, scientists did think that the Eye of the Sahara was an impact crater. But they didn't find enough melted rock to make that guess hold water. Current theories suggest a much more complicated story behind this incredible natural formation. Scientists still have questions about the Eye of the Sahara but two Canadian geologists have a working theory about its origins. They think the eye's formation began more than 100 million years ago, as the supercontinent Pangaea was ripped apart by plate tectonics, and what are now Africa and South America were being torn away from each other. Molten rock pushed up towards the surface, but didn't make it all the way, creating a dome of rock layers, like a very large pimple. This also created fault lines circling the eye and crossing it. Number 4. Steppe Geoglyphs More than 50 geoglyphs with various shapes and sizes, including a massive swastika, have been discovered across northern Kazakhstan in Central Asia, say archaeologists. Discovered using Google Earth, these geoglyphs are designed in a variety of geometric shapes, including squares, rings, crosses, and swastikas, ranging from 90 to 400 meters. 295 to 1,312 feet in diameter, some of them are longer than a modern-day aircraft carrier. Researchers say that the geoglyphs are difficult to see on the ground, but can easily be seen from the sky. As of today, we can say only one thing. The geoglyphs were built by ancient people. Number 3. Strange Object on Mars NASA's Curiosity rover has discovered a strange object on Mars. Its controlling team didn't know at first what to make of it. The finding consisted of an unusual piece, raising concerns that it might have been a part of a spacecraft. Immediately, the team named this object the Pettigrove Point Foreign Object Debris, after the area that it was found in, Pettigrove Point, the region which Curiosity is currently exploring inside Mars's Gate Crater. It was believed that it may be a piece that the rover itself has shed, or perhaps it was a piece from an alien spacecraft. Apparently, Earth's trash is commonly increasing on the Red Planet. Number 2. Hubble Pyramid A pyramid has been spotted on the moon by Hubble Telescope, and conspiracy theorists are claiming it was built by the same being which built the iconic monuments in Egypt. The infamous image portrays an unnaturally perfect pyramid shape with distinct angles and lines. The lines of the pyramid are so straight that they appear too perfectly straight for it to be a result of something created in nature. The pyramid casts a long shadow on the moon's gray surface. The shadow is cast very far across the surface, giving a sense of impressive depth and dimension to the object, whatever it is. The widespread belief is that this photo was faked and that it was created in 2008 as an internet hoax. There is little chance that a pyramid this perfect would be created naturally unless it was simply a trick of life and shadow. Number 1. Blythe Intaglios the Blythe Intaglios, often called America's Nazca Lines, are a series of gigantic geoglyphs found 15 miles north of Blythe, California in the Colorado Desert. 
In the southwestern United States alone, there are over 600 intaglios, anthropomorphic geoglyphs. But what separates ones near Blythe is their size and intricacy. In total, there are six figures in three different locations, all within 1,000 feet from one another, situated on two mesas. The geoglyphs depict drawings of humans, animals, objects, and geometric shapes, all of which can be seen from the air. The figures are believed to have been made by the Mojave and Quechan Indians, are somewhere between 450 and 2,000 years old, and represent Mastamho, the creator of life with the largest human figure coming in at 171 feet, 52 meters long, they are difficult to see from ground level and are best viewed from a helicopter. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.